Welcome back friends. Today I'm going to share with you guys what's in my kids Easter basket. We're just going to dive straight in. We do not do a whole lot for Easter. We focus on Christ's resurrection and we try to make that the main focus. It's not about getting things. It's not about the Easter bunny. It is about Christ and his amazing resurrection. But I do love any excuse to get my kids something and to make them feel special and loved. And so Easter is no exception, but we do keep it pretty simple. I don't get them a ton and we don't go crazy, but we do make it fun. So just about every single thing I got today, I think everything except for one thing came from Target, um, but I got this cute little Easter basket because Emmy's was really, really small and I wanted them all to have one that's kind of the same size. So I bought, I bought this one for her and she loves unicorns. So this was perfect for her. And in here, I got her some sidewalk chalk. Actually, this is for everyone because they all love this. This will be used by all in our family. And then this girl is obsessed with any kind of accessories. So I got her a cute little hair bow and it has just a little clasp on the back. And I got her some jewelry. Again, it's unicorns. She's gonna love it. I got her, okay, so we have had some marker fiascos lately them getting stolen from each other and it's been like a whole war and it's just been a whole thing. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to get everyone a new pack of cheap markers and they'll be so happy. <laughs> so these were like $2, I think, the Target brand, but I got everybody a pack of markers. And so I try to keep it fairly practical. Like this is something they'll use and they can use their brain with and be creative with. The chalk is also something they can use outside. They can use their brain. They can be creative with. And then I, I got everyone also something to wear. So that's something practical that we will actually use. I did not get a whole bunch of just toys and junk and candy. So I got her this little shirt. I thought it was so cute. It says mom's sunshine because she really is that for me. And um, all of my kids are. Oh no, I thought it had a stain on it, but it was like a piece of confetti or something. Okay, so that is her little basket. I usually fill it up with that fake grass, so it'll look like more than, than it is. Okay, this is my two-year-old Michael, his little basket. This is one that also came from Target. I thought it was really cute with the little frogs on it. And in here he is getting, well, I think I'm gonna throw a few of these in all of their Easter baskets. I like these fruit snacks, the Annie's brand, because they don't have all the yucky stuff in it, all the artificial flavors and the high fructose corn syrup and the dyes and stuff. So this is just a better option for fruit snacks. So I'll put a few of these in everybody's. Um, and then I got him some bath blocks. I found these in the dollar section. So he will have so much fun with that. And my daughter will have fun with that when she takes baths. And then I got him these cute little PJs. He really needs some right now, so that will be great for him. And then I got him a little Hot Wheels car, so he's gonna really love that. Okay, Landon's my seven-year-old. His Their Easter baskets are downstairs, so I don't have theirs in their basket yet. But y'all, I thought this was so cute from the dollar spot. It's a bug catcher, and it's like supposed to be a camper, but it's a bug catcher. How cute is this, y'all? He is gonna love this. He is all about some bugs and being outside. And so it just has inside, it has like a magnifying glass and little pinchers and different things that they can use to catch some bugs. So he's gonna have a good time with this. It has like a little door right here. It's so cute. And then I got him a little shirt. He loves bright colors, very bright colors. And he also loves soccer, so I thought he would enjoy that. I also got him some markers. <laughs> And then I also got him a Hot Wheel. My boys are very much into Hot Wheels right now, so they will love that. And they're only a dollar. Okay, Gabe is my 10 year old. For him, I found this little ball in the Target dollar spot. It is a crazy bounce soccer ball and it glows in the dark. So I thought he would really enjoy that. I also got him a Hot Wheel car because even though he's 10, he still loves him some Hot Wheels. 
And then, y'all, my son is obsessed with socks. Like, he has to wear socks. The rest of my kids, they don't love, they hate socks. They are always taking them off. But this child, like, he cannot ever be without socks. Even, like, in the dead of summer. He wants to have socks on his feet. But that means that I'm buying socks, like, every month. Because he goes through them so quickly. They're always getting holes in them. So I grabbed him a pack of socks. And he is going to be really excited about this because I'm telling you, he loves socks. And then I got him a nice shirt. His favorite color is red, so he'll love this. And he also loves burgers, so this was appropriate. And I got him some markers too. So everyone got about three or four things in their basket. And then I also got a big bag of chocolate candy, the good kind. Um, and I'm going to divide this between all the baskets. So they'll get a little candy, but like they already do several egg hunts. And so I know they'll be getting a lot of candy from that. So I didn't want to get them too much candy because you guys know when you have four kids, even one Easter egg hunt, you're bringing home a ton of candy. So <laughs> we don't need that much. So this will be good with the fruit snacks. That's kind of like their candy. And my husband and I may or may not have already broken into this bag. <laughs> and one more thing that I got that has not arrived yet that I just bought on Amazon today that I wanted to tell you about because it's so cool is these spy pins. I'll link them below. So you write with the pen and it looks like it's invisible and then you shine a light on it and then you can see the ink. So I thought they would love that. That's like right up their alley. So I purchased those. I think it, it's like $5 for a pack of six or something. So I ordered those and I'm going to stick those in each one of their Easter baskets too. I would really, really encourage you guys to make Easter a day where you celebrate Christ's resurrection and you really talk to your kids about that because even at their little young age, they are absorbing everything. And so we really want to make sure that they understand that it's not just about the bunny. It's not about getting things. It's not even really about the food and being together as a family. It is about Christ's resurrection. The other things are just a sweet added bonus. We have many, many ways that we do this, but one thing we do and it's kind of a tradition is we have a beautiful fancy lunch and I do usually like a roast and some kind of dessert and rolls and all of the yummy things and then afterwards or sometimes even before we'll sit down as a family and we will read about the resurrection in the bible and sometimes we'll even do some kind of devotional that coincides with that you can find plenty of them online and you can just print them out even like places like etsy sometimes you can buy them for a few dollars but i would highly recommend doing something like that so that they really understand what Easter is really all about. Okay, friends, this was kind of a wild hair video. I just kind of decided to do it last minute. So I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope it was fun. Maybe it gave you some good ideas. Comment below some things that you're putting in your kids' Easter basket so we can all get some ideas off of each other. I think that would be so fun. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up before you head out and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. It's a free way you can support me and it helps me so much. And I'll see you guys back here next time. Thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.